Ladies and gentlemen, the Phil Bitter Show is brought to you by Random Things. Um, 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 da 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 dum. It's the Phil Better Show! This is Phil Better with the Phil Better Show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's the Phil Better Show. Another week, another episode. That's right. I think we're on episode 69 now. I think this is episode 69. Nice. Yeah, boy. 69? Yeah, 69. So that lovely voice that you're hearing (laughs) in the background is, of course, Al on movies. Look at him doing his crazy stunts. Uh, Crazy stunts? Really? Crazy stunts. I don't know. Nice. Um, Anyways, how is everybody? How are you, Phil? I'm doing great, Al. Yeah. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm not going to lie. I am extremely tired, but I am energized to uh, rock and roll with this uh, upcoming episode, which I know we will uh, do some cut reels and land through with flying colors. I'm just talking random gibberish. Just yeah, he's he's because I'm taking a breath. Um, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a random episode. We did have something planned. But we decided, hey, let's do something random. Let's just let's just talk. Yeah, let's just pretty much talk. Um, so we're we have a few topics mm-hmm. to talk about. Um, we're going to get into that very shortly. First off, uh, Al, do you have anything you want to say? Any any news you want to talk about today? Mm, nothing in particular. Uh, I know. We, I, I know. I'm putting you on the spot. I'm I know sorry. You're putting me on the spot. Uh, in terms of everything that's going on in the movie and music world, I know there's been a lot that's going on this week. Should we just jump into the main thing uh, now, or you know, what? we're going to do it. We're going to okay, do it. So. We're going to jump over and into. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking James Gunn. James Gunn, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so for you who are not watching on the YouTube channel, which I <laughs> suggest you do, go over to YouTube, search The Phil Better Show. The Phil Bell Show. The, the Phil, Phil Better, Better Show. Show. Phil Better Show. Phil Better Show. Phil Got Better. it. Uh, it's the only Phil Better Show on YouTube. You can follow us there. We do trailer reactions mm-hmm. every week, mm-hmm. every Tuesday. Uh, you can see a trailer reaction. We just did one live just before recording this for the Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Beautiful. That Thank was, you. That was, that was uh, pa- uh, for the Toy Story 4 trailer. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was a bad one. Never have halal. <laughs> never have garlic for lunch. Let me just tell you, folks. And you, and, well, I don't smell anything right now. At least, at least yeah, I can thankfully. walk across from each other. So Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get back to what we're talking about. Not my lunch choice. Um, ladies and gentlemen, James Gunn has been rehired by Marvel mm-hmm. to direct the third chapter in the guardians of the galaxy look at how happy he is in that photo yeah just gonna fix this be... oh, oh, oh. There, oh, there you go I, okay i can see a beautiful face now oh, you're too kind. Okay. um i'm very happy with this um, were you surprised though you know what you know what okay. i wasn't really i had a feeling like look mm-hmm. the one person who theoretically could have retaken taken over mm-hmm. taco Taika Waititi? No, but even then he stated that he didn't. Oh yeah, no, that's it. right. He stated he didn't want to because I'm uh, my beard is so soft. I'm just loving my beard. I'll touch it later. Okay, I'm mm-hmm. um, sorry. Uh, he is. He said that he didn't want it. They did approach another director. I can't remember his name. Mm. He was in early talks, but it wasn't only just about Guardians of the Galaxy. There was probably other uh, other uh, movies that he was talked about. They they had light discussions. Nothing serious. Um, I think, you know what it is? I think they just, Disney wanted it to die down a bit mm-hmm. before they were like, okay, bring him back. Cause he's, he, to, to, to tell the truth. Like there's no one that can handle the guardians. He's, he's done two movies with it. Mm-hmm. He's made it pretty much his own. Mm-hmm. So why are you trying to change it? Like no one else can touch it. Yeah. The, you know, I look. He, I, he should because this is his baby. It is uh, the third uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is everything uh, that he scripted. Yep, basically through the entire series. So, and even before the announcement, they announced that they were going to use James Gunn's script yeah. for the third Guardians. Also, too, it, it it does play that the entire cast is behind behind him. Not only the entire pushing, cast, and pushing Disney to actually rehire him and. 
and you know uh, because you know they're pre- they're pretty much a family. It is. It's I mean? true. And look, the biggest vocal, the most vocal person behind j- rehiring James Gunn is Dave Bautista. Oh, he's happy. Oh yeah, he's doing backflips for sure. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is because James Gunn is the reason he does now have such a huge career. Yeah. Because if he wasn't cast, he fought. James Gunn fought for him to be mm-hmm. cast as Drax. Mm-hmm. And thanks to that, he got into Casino uh, Casino Royal uh, oh, Spectre. Uh, Spectre, yeah. He got into Blade Runner. Yeah, and he was. He's now to- in Dune. Mm-hmm. That's just started. Yeah. So uh, like, it's all thanks to James uh, Gunn, and I can yeah, understand and Denis fully. Villeneuve, yeah, uh, Montreal's own. He's, yeah. You know, so I'm happy for him. Yeah, uh, like it's starting soon. The Dune remake. Well, it because he, he was also in Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. That was, uh, that was directed by uh, uh, Villeneuve, Villeneuve as well. As well. So, yeah, so it, it makes, you know, I'm happy for Dave. I'm happy for James Gunn. Yeah, I'm happy he's coming um, back. Look, it's I'm gonna happy, give... like, look, whatever he did in the past was in the past. You know look, he's I mean? already apologized. Yeah, that's, and that's another issue, too. He did apologize. He addressed it. Uh, you know, this, this was something that was done, what, 10 so, years Close ago. to 10 years yeah, ago. So. I'm, I'm sorry. It's this cancel culture. I'm not a fan of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I can understand if you still hold those views Mm -hmm. and you still like, even though it was 10 years ago, Mm -hmm. it's now today, you still say, hey, that's my feelings. I I don't feel bad. It's who I am. Yeah. People, so, the thing is, uh, people gotta realize is that people change. Yeah, you know. But like, like people, nowadays, people are like, you're not allowed to change anymore. That's what I'm getting the feeling well, of. That's the thing. It's like, look, people. If you, everybody has their faults in life, you know, people learn from it. You know? Everyone's fuck fucked up in the past. Yeah. Oh, you said the f word. Yeah. I did. I dropped the f bomb. If we get demonetized. We're not monetized at all. Um, Fucking A. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, look, uh, it's only a 1F show here. I <laughs> no, get the yeah. F. You don't. So get the F out. Um, Fudge. Fudgicals. But, um, uh, look, uh, to be honest with you, I was kind of surprised. Uh, you were? Given the fact that he was, uh, he slated still to do... Uh, Suicide, Squad. Suicide Squad. I don't know. Is he still going to direct it? Yeah, so... Which is... He's contractually obligated now to do Suicide Squad. Yeah. Now, whether or not DC actually gets off their ass and makes Suicide Squad, yeah, totally different story. Yeah, but he is contractually. They've already pushed back Guardians three, I mm-hmm. think, because they released everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, like, look, we're not sure when we're going to film. You're you're free to get other jobs in the meantime. Mm-hmm. So currently, they don't have a staff. Mm-hmm. No, which now, uh, which knowing that James Gunn's coming back, uh, for sure the returning players yeah. like Chris Pratt. Oh yeah, all, Zoe, uh, they're gonna the, come back. the staff is coming back. Uh, the acting actors are coming back, yeah. and then they can do the uh, uh, the extras and yeah. all that. The and secondary. you kind of need James Gunn if you've seen Volume Two, the way mm. they ended it. He, it's a continuation, right? So. Well, not only Volume Two, but like now we have uh, Endgame. Yeah. Uh, not only sorry. You had Infinity War and Endgame. Mm-hmm. Now, it, James Gunn is the one in in both those movies who's handled the Guardians. He knows the Guardians inside and out. Like, the mm-hmm. Russos went to him and was like, look, you need to help us script the Guardians aspect here. Mm-hmm. So it's the Guardians that are the ones that... Mm-hmm. Oh, garlic. It's never good. <laughs> um, the Guardians are James Gunn. They're, like, 100%. Like... Um, Edward Wright had Ant Man before. There, you can see clips of his stuff in mm-hmm. the first one, mm-hmm. and the second one is completely uh, uh, Yates, is it? No, it's. Um, oh my God, I know. Who Hold it on. Is. Pulling out the phone. Oh my God, I know who it is too. Sounds and dirty when you say it like that. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna adjust the camera a bit. All right, good. Ant Man. Uh, Ant Man right? was. It's. Uh, uh, Peyton Reed. Sorry. Peyton Reed. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Peyton Reed did the first and the second one. Mm-hmm. The second one is all Peyton Reed. And you yeah. do feel somewhat, I felt, a somewhat tone shift. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't have Edgar Wright's comedic timing. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. The second one I really enjoyed. Mm-hmm. but And the first one I did as well. Mm-hmm. But I really wanted to see what Edgar Wright could do with it. But because there was somewhat of a clash, mm-hmm. they left apparently on good terms. So there is a chance that he could come back. I highly doubt it. I do too, because, well, at the time, Disney wasn't give and Marvel weren't giving the direct, the directors pretty much were there, just there in name only. Well, the thing is, I think there will be an Ant-Man 3 movie uh, mm-hmm. in some capacity, if by chance Disney or Feige would say, hey, 
next. Um, Edgar Wright, would you like to direct this one? There's a chance. There's a chance. But there's um, also a chance that he may do any number of future which, characters. Which could be a possibility. But the thing is, Edgar Wright's doing his own thing right now, and he's doing a masterful job. Oh, yeah, I know. And also, too, you want to... You wanna Try to pitch in like you know uh, Simon Pegg and to be uh, into this too uh, and Nick Frost as well. So imagine if, doing if a they Marvel get the movie with those three guys, it would be off the chain. Depending Guaranteed. on what the property, what the Marvel property they would use. Oh, but look! All you have to have is Simon Pegg playing Simon Pegg and Nick Frost playing Nick Frost, and that's fine. Or you could just do a reincarnations of any of the three. Um, Either from um, for the three. Uh, you know what? Hot fuzz. Make them police officers. Make hot fuzz in the universe. Because they've already been... Uh, Shaun of the Dead has already been put in to a movie universe thanks mm-hmm. to Jack Snyder mm-hmm. from Dawn of the Dead. Mm. The Zack Snyder, yeah. Zack Snyder. Yeah, I said... Who did I say? I heard something Snyder that's not Zack. Okay. Well, Zack Snyder. Uh, so... It's all good. Whatever. So, like, I wouldn't have a problem. Like, even if it's not in continuity, you still bring in... Simon Pegg and Nick Frost as police officers because they're in Britain or something. Like they had the, yeah. and it's just simple like that. Just a nice little cameo, joking around. You know, I would be happy with that. Yeah, that's that's my take on. But I am happy that the man that helmed both the Guardians of the Galaxy one and Volume two. Yeah, it's just is an back. interesting take in the sense where it's now he, it's, he's doing like a J.J. Abrams like he directed Star Trek. Now he's doing Star. He did Star. Yeah, Wars. he's jumping in both. Now he's jumping in both realms. Like clearly, so you'll see James Gunn's version of Suicide Squad, which uh, is supposed to have. It's supposed to be dark. I think. Uh, right? I don't know. It's not a reboot. It's not a sequel. It's a reboot. Um, it's going to have uh, the King Shark. The thing is, oh, really? King Shark. Okay. King Shark. Um, Polka Dot Man. I don't know. And two other people. Uh, Deadshot has well, been recast, recast as Idris the, Alba. The sexy. Yeah, himself. the sexy and my girlfriend's husband, apparently. Um, I'm mine. not bitter. He's mine. I'm not bitter at all. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm interested. But I think, but you can't, you can't change uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. She's staying as. Harley don't Quinn. know. Don't know well, if she's, she's doing the uh, whatever the the Gotham the, Sirens or Birds like of Prey that. Yeah, and, and they, they the Emancipation did, of Harley Quinn. It's something like that, and we always saw like someone of a clip trailer. I don't know what it's yeah. called, but with the women that's going to be associated. And with you movie. have Jude. Is it Jude Law? As who? No, you have Ewan McGregor playing Black Mask. Oh yeah, that too. That I'm okay with. But again, I think uh, what I was trying to say is because of what's going on with DC, uh, I think Mo- I think Disney just decided, you know what? Uh, we don't want uh, momentum on DC's side, so let's rehire James Gunn. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, no, it's no problem. So I feel like now there's going to be really a, like a tug of war. I think that uh, there's no tug of war. D- uh, DC doesn't have the money. Warner Brothers doesn't have the money that Disney has, yeah. and Disney can be like, so blam, here, what you do you think, want to but do? Now with this new development with James Look, Gunn, I, think I, he, I think, think he might not do it anymore? Now? No, 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 because this is what I think happened. Okay. The tweets came out. Mm-hmm. James Gunn's like, look, I'm sorry. Disney's like, look, Bob Iger, Kevin Feige, sit him down. They're like, look, this ain't good for us. This is bad news. James Gunn's like, I know. He's like, this is what we're going to do. You're going to get fired. Mm-hmm. We're going to wait till it cools down. And then we're going to rehire you. We're going to look like we're looking for other directors. You think he said that? You think they I, I the think that team? was the plan. But at the same time, to- sorry, at the same time, Kevin Feige was really, there was rumors that Kevin Feige was fighting tooth and nail with Bob Iger to keep James Gunn. No, which is fine, but then the how would, like, if that was the case, why would James Gunn uh, agree to because he wouldn't know. He doesn't know how long it's going to take. Okay, so he just wanted to just he's do, like take look it because in a sense where it could be permanent. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, but at this current at, moment, this this is all obviously my speculation. Mm-hmm. Some things I've read online. Yeah, it could be fully one hundred percent. James Gunn thought he was done, so he left. And Bob Iger's like, I'm going to wait to see I'm how the waters look. I'm going to follow through on that front and just say that he actually thought that he was done. Because I actually thought he was never coming back to do. Uh, uh, Guardians three, so yeah, uh, that's why he, uh, him, and I thought going jumping ship to DC was kind of like his revenge type of thing. 
Um, I think he just wanted to play in the comic book world. But I'm just thinking, you know, now with this new development, I just want to know, like, will D- will DC still commit for James Gunn to do Suicide Squad, knowing that he has to go back to doing Guardians with uh, Disney and Marvel? Look, they're... Common interest, you know? So it's like... Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see what happens. I guess time will uh, tell. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's our uh, little bit of news on that. We're going to jump now to um, a very controversial topic. This is pretty controversial. It's Aladdin. Ladies and gentlemen, the full trailer came out. Yeah. We um, need to do a trailer reaction. We, just, uh, we didn't. Uh, I, I, I like the new trailer. It well, was... Uh, okay. The, the Why, teaser was bad. The teaser was bad. The teaser was really bad. There was Meme City mm-hmm. with Will Smith, Genie. Um, look... I think they rushed it because the first original trailer came out and you or the first image and it was Will Smith in human form. Okay. And people are like, "What? This isn't, this isn't the genie that we know. This is this. This is that." And people are getting upset. Well, we knew that uh, either way, people were gonna just not like it because of it's the, not Jim Carrey. Is it, it's not. No, it's not Robin Williams. Sorry, you're right, yeah. Robin uh, Williams. I think you. you it would have been better to just get Jim Carrey to play. Uh, no. Why? Because um, it would have been bad. Because it's it just. Been, I think it would have been different, but it'd be Jim Carrey's. I think they know. went with Will Smith because it's a. Because comp- look, if you go with another comedian, yeah, you run the risk. Well, technically, risk. Will Smith is a comedian. Uh, technically, per se. Per se, I'm yes, say, but verse okay. is similar to how. Let's look at it. You have Robin Williams and Jim Carrey. Both of them are known to be comedians. They've done stand up. Mm-hmm. Will Smith only recently on his channel. Did stand up. Well, there was an episode of The Fresh Prince where he tried stand up and he got booed the hell out. Uh, that was DL, a TV show. Well, I know, but still. And it was DL paid Hugu, people. D.L. Hughley, I said, what's up? Just really? Okay. You're going to argue me with this? I'm just, uh, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I am looking for a new co-host. <laughs> um, you must be willing to talk about movies. Okay. Doesn't matter, and uh, be free on certain nights so that we can record. Um, this is Al's last show. Okay. Um, I know it's going to upset some of your listeners. Tears. You bastard. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, yeah. So um, look, the fr- teaser came out, mm-hmm. and then they mime the memes came out of the woodworks, and they were funny. Some of them, some of them were great. Yeah. Um, some of them were horrible, but some of them were great. Yeah. Now, pardon me. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> you can't? Really? No, you're not pardoned for uh, yawning in the middle of your podcast. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Jesus. Now I have to take a sip and <laughs> cause me to um, burp. I do like a sense. I know I, there's a lot of, I've been kind of thinking more of it in a negative light with this one, but I do see a lot of positives from Why? the trailer, uh, this new trailer that came out. Um, I actually like the dynamics of Aladdin and uh, Jasmine um, from what I'm seeing with those two. Um, uh, I like that the, the returning characters are there. The only thing that's kind of like perplexing me is Jafar. He looks younger. He looks younger. He's not the Jafar that we know with the deep no, voice. No, uh, if I'm and, not mistaken, hold on. Yeah, go um, ahead. Take a, uh, take a look. See, But I was just like... Yeah, okay, younger. I was just hoping for like more deep, like no, menacing voice look, a white voice type that we know of Jafar. Uh, I don't know who did the voice of Jafar back in the day, but um, uh, the was it not Jeremy Irons? Hold on. No, he would. He did Scar for uh, the Lion King. Give me a second. I'm bringing it up now. Jafar was Jonathan Freeman. Okay. Let's see what Jonathan Freeman has done. Um, yeah, I think he's done voiceovers. I don't know. If he, I don't remember him. Sorcerer either. of the Magic Kingdom. That's a game. That's a game. I guess Kingdom he, Hearts. I guess he was I, Jafar. I guess it's more like voiceovers. <sighs> he's done TV, mm. but not huge things. Okay. But yeah, he's been known more as a voice. Over. Yeah, he's can, a voice can actor. Can you pull up the name of the actor who's playing Jafar in the new uh, one? Movie? Yeah. Give me a second. Cause I th- he talks in the trailer, right? Uh, yeah, it, it, just, it just doesn't seem. His name is Marwan Kenzari. Okay, I'm pulling up what he's been in. Uh, he was on the the his most recent was the Angel. Okay. Uh, Murder on the Orient and Orient Express. Oh, he, he was p- in that. Okay. He played Pierre Michel. Okay. He played in What Happened to Monday. No, I'm sorry. He was in the Mummy. He played Malik. I didn't see it. 
He was in uh, Ben Hur, the most recent uh, horrible one. Uh, Played Drusus. Okay. I'm looking here. He was in a thing called Wolf. Like, so it's not pretty much a big pedigree. He's no, no, he's is. not. He's not known. Where is he from? Let's get some details on him. He was pl- he was born in the Hague, in Holland, Netherlands. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to try. There's a Z U I D. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay. Uh, can you just also check one more thing for me? Yeah, uh, sure. The uh, Jasmine. I think it's the girl from the Power Ranger movies. No. Naomi Scott. Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. That she right. played Kimberly. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. She's Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. Is she Ooh, Canadian? Canadian? Hold on. I know one, either Aladdin or Jasmine is Canadian. Uh, no, she's British. Okay, she's British. Then it's Aladdin that is Canadian, I think. Ooh, if that's the case, then well. Yeah, he was born in Egypt and moved to Canada when he was three, and he was raised in Markham, Ontario. Markham, Ontario, okay. Yeah. So, uh, there has been controversy um, I think it's just the controversy is just solely on Will Smith. No, there's been because they're not casting authentic Middle Eastern people because, you know, he's been raised in Canada and okay, her in England. I, I'm not getting into this. No, but at the same time, look. You need like, to cast the best it's, actor in, it's, it for is, the Yeah, role. for the best cast. They found the best actor and actresses and their, and their, their, uh, their ethnic background shows and plays in this movie yeah. so it's like look give the movie its due first you know it's not out in theaters yet so yeah. that, that's why I'm pulling reservations until I see this movie like look True. as much as I talk about Will Smith and I love me some Will Smith um, I just I'm hoping that he's gonna try to steer from doing his thing his there's gonna thang, be a bit a bit of rapping in it cause when yeah. you uh, listened in it you heard a, you know, about do, I think three do, songs do the Aladdin version of Men in Black uh, the theme song uh, like the well the music, I think you, know I mean? uh, you got a friend not um, you never had a friend like me yeah he raps it more okay uh, you because you hear that in the trailer. Okay, and you, you hear I think you hear a whole a new, new world. world. Yeah, you get a bit of a whole new world. You don't get everything. You just get a snippet mm-hmm. of it. Um, Iago's being played by Alan Tudyk. That's cool. Instead of Gilbert Godfrey. That's fine. Going to be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love uh, Alan Tudyk does so much voice work. It's amazing. Yeah, I love him. I, that's why I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about that. Um, um, who's going to play the voice of the carpet? <laughs> <laughs> I will look. My ad- <laughs> this is my audition. <laughs> Back Amazing! <laughs> I got the part. Um, and, um, no, yeah. look, uh, it looks amazing. You see a bit of it, yeah, it's it, nearly a shot-for-shot shot remake of the original. Yeah, like the other two live. Uh, yeah, Disney the Lion movies, King Lion and King Dumbo. Um, Dum- Dumbo actually, I don't think it's going to be a shot-for-shot. Shot. Yeah, which is again because it's, it's Tim, not as it's, iconic. Well, it's Tim Burton's touch on it. Too, yeah, so. th- that's true as well. Um, but this is uh, look. Yeah, it's going to be okay. It's gonna make boatloads of money. Yeah, all I think all three of them. I think yeah. it's safe to say they're gonna make boatloads of money. So. Unfortunately, Dumbo's not gonna get much of my money. Well, I'm gonna see it. Of course you I will. Have to. It's a, I, psycho. I saw, no, but I've that's I remember watching that cartoon when I was young. But I remember watching all three of these movies. Oh yeah. The big the big one that's important to me is Aladdin because I love that movie as a kid. I saw it in theaters, you know, when I was young. So Aladdin. And Lion King are yeah. going to be the biggest ones because yeah. that has the most fandom. Yeah, the thing is, just with the Lion King, it's because it's directed by uh, Favreau. Favreau, and he did a great job with the Jungle Book. You know what I mean? The Jungle so, Book. The Jungle Book. But. Wow, that was a hard K. <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you are listening, I am. I am taking applications for co-hosts. Uh, you need to be a DJ and you need to know how to use a microphone properly. Oh, sorry. Are we now I'm giving sorry. a head to the microphone? Like, I'm sorry. What are we doing? Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> sorry. Look, okay. Aladdin's um, going to make boatloads of money. The yeah. jo- uh, and I'm hoping that it's going to take uh, Guy Ritchie back to the promise line because I know his last two movies have been questionable. But again, this is a kids movie and this is a Disney movie too. So yeah, it, it, it's um, a Disney movie. It's it, guaranteed imagine money. Imagine that. Like the, his first movie was live, a uh, lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. So it's a it's a British gangster movie, right? And Hardcore. now he yeah. And now like going He's through doing transformation, Disney. marrying Madonna, divorcing Madonna, and now doing Disney movies. It's a little. It's a little. But insane. I'm happy for him nonetheless. I am too. He's a great 
Great he's a great director. Like, uh, I just wish he would do more British gangster movies. But anyways. Uh, I, I want him to return to his roots. Yeah, no, for sure. And just do some good British gangster small movies, no big budgets. Yeah. Because it's like Robert Rodriguez. He, they don't do too well in the big budget area. Yeah. Like, i never seen... Well, I, I didn't... Have you seen Anita? At the, Battle uh, Angel? The Battle Angel, yeah. No. I heard it's good, though. But anyways, that's another topic for another time. It's... <sighs> I, I just heard so much negativity from it. I heard a lot of positive stuff, especially the visual. Leading up to it, not mm. ac- after, I've gotten mixed reviews. Okay. So, uh, on the trailer, what do you give? Uh, I'm going to give it a seven. A seven? Yeah. And I'm, I, look. Are you I, seeing I'm gonna, an opening I, day? I, I, no, not, well, I'm going to try to see it that week. Okay. Because it seems like now it's like I, I would like to make an effort to see well look end games I'm gonna try make an effort to see it opening day or at least opening weekend oh yeah for but sure but with this one I will see it during the week so okay maybe it's a cheapy Tuesday for the most part but yeah. I will definitely see this I have to see this this is my childhood yeah you know it's I mean? it's like I, out of the three Aladdin's my childhood cartoon um, for me it was. Disney. Like out of the three, which one is kind of oh god, I can't make it. well Dumbo is at the bottom of the list. Screw that Dumbo. Well, the thing is, I I have to, I remember ha- watching Dumbo. Like we had the cassette, and I remember watching it. So I have to see I have to see all three of these movies. But Aladdin is the one that I am more kind of engaged because this is my childhood, and I'm kind as much as it looks good. I give it a seven. I am skeptical at the same time. Yeah. Because I just don't want a shot for shot, but at the same time, I don't want it too different. I'm hard to please. Because if you remember a lot of the shots in the cartoon, like imagine like a lot of the visuals, especially the cave. Oh, yeah. Thing. I, we saw clips of it in the it looks, like, with the lion. Yeah, uh, with the tiger scoping. And then it's like, it's cool. it would be cool to see that like live. And oh, yeah. We're going to see it live. And we haven't seen full. Have we seen? I can't remember. Uh, the. The the, the 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 carpet. Do we see any action we on the carpet? We see clips of it. You even see carpet in the uh, in the poster, like you see in, in the back on the right. Yeah, be, the, just behind. Uh, I, see, I remember seeing a little clip of it, but nothing too big. But it'd be nice to cool. But obviously, when she pick when he when Aladdin picks up uh, Jasmine, you don't see it fully, but you do see the carpet. So I remember that front. So okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving on from Aladdin to something even more serious. Yes, this is uh, this is dangerous. We're talking about Gor- Jordan Peele's Us. Mm-hmm. Now it it drops. It's our it's out Thursday. I think it comes out. Well, I think it come out well Thursday night, midnight Friday, basically. So. Yeah, so it's 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 out already as you hear this. Yeah. Um, the trailers have scared me. I like that they don't reveal too too much, but they no. just show you enough of the in terms of the scare factor. Oh yeah, I know. You know, you know that this is going to be somewhat of an unpleasant uh, movie in a good way. That when, when I say it, um, I think um, it I'm freaks hoping, me out. I'm hoping that this is going to be you know because a lot of like uh, movies, a lot of directors have on their sophomore movie it yeah, fails. Like it, they suffer, they suffer the sophomore curse. But I don't Slump. think I don't think it's going to be that case for Jordan Peele. But I hope it's like Get Out is a great movie. So mm. I'm hoping um, this it one... is a terrifying movie. Mm-hmm. So well done. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's. I'm really excited about this because there's so little known about this movie. Like, Which is fine with me. Like, It's you know. a monster movie, but also it's a paranormal movie, but it's also something else. Well, it's a monster, horror movie, but is it? I think is it's it? a, like, a, like a horror thriller. I don't know. No one knows. Mm-hmm. Which is a great thing. And, yeah. Uh, uh, we didn't get a lot from when we saw the trailer for Get Out for the first time. And then when we saw it, it was like, you know. Each, each of the trailers that they've released... Mm-hmm have been just building on stuff mm-hmm. and it just it's like freaky there's one scene where you have lupe she's sitting across from her doppelganger mm-hmm. and the doppelganger just like oh you mean lupita lupita yeah fuck it's okay lupita niago and i think you know what looking i think this is gonna be her movie to shine you oh yeah know what i mean but so. when when the the i don't know if you remember she's the uh, doppelganger is looking at her and it just like scringles its face fingers across mm-hmm. its face her face mm-hmm. like that was freaky as hell because you know uh, with we, when you get when you look at get out uh, you see Jordan people using uh, Jordan Peele using a lot of the old school um, you know techniques shot, the technique shots and it seems like it'll, it'll probably be uh, um, used again in in us and more effectively now that this is kind of a 
bit of a bigger budget. Yeah, um, he has bigger stars. Bigger stars. Uh, but yeah. he also shot this when some of these people weren't as a big a star. No, no. Like, like as much as uh, Winston Duke is somewhat of a star now because of Black Panther, um, I, I think he'll shine in this movie too. So, And there's also the two kids, right? I think that... I th- oh, man. I, and Elizabeth I'm, I'm, Moss. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth Moss is in this movie too. Uh, I... And I'm... Oh. Man, I think this is good. And it's, I'm looking at the IMDb. There's not a big cast, too. No. So, I and I like the fact that it's kind of like as much as he got like a bigger budget. I th- I like the fact that this he's still keeping it in a smaller scale. Oh yeah, so. no, this this is um uh it's gonna be amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't wait for this. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing it this weekend. Um, oh yeah, no, it's so. it's either this weekend if I can. Mm-hmm. Tuesday at the latest, um, it's going to be an amazing. Yeah, movie. yeah, no, Tuesday would be the latest for me too, if anything. So um, I'm so excited. The trailers, the artwork, the posters have been amazing. This, the whole whole build up for this mm-hmm. has been interesting, and with the and limited, I, I'm and loving. Which is good. I think I like that. It's like it's they show like how many trailers. I think there's been four trailers four and trailers, but again, four it's, TV it's, spots. Yeah, and they're not kind of they're all pretty much in the same vein in the same yeah. scenes. And I like the fact that it's nothing is being you know given away, you know, given away, and they're not. There's yeah, they sh- it shows like the scare tactics, but I feel like when you see this movie, there's going to be more to it. But this is what I like about Jordan Peele: the way he he promotes his movie mm-hmm. is he knows less is more. A lot of movies today they're giving they're trying to show you all the big things so that you get you to like the hook you to go to a movie but i've seen all the big things why should i go to the movie now mm-hmm. so like all this is like yeah he's showing you some moments mm-hmm. that may be big interesting mm-hmm. moments too yeah they're interesting moments mm-hmm. but you don't know where they takes place in the movie so you can't chronologically sort this movie so you have to go see it so you can figure out from a to b like there's a moment where the kid like the beginning of one of the trailers, the kids, uh, the youngest boy, he's walking up to this like guy in the sand wearing if orange or red, like the suit of the doppelgangers and the jacket. And he looks kind of bloody and he has his hands out like this and the kid's walking up. Now, you don't know, does the does that when the kid becomes a doppelganger then or is it? Is it another kid? Like, what's going on? What happens there? What happens on the boat? There's so much going on in this movie and from the trailers that it's insane. Most likely, all those questions will be answered once you see this movie this weekend. Boom, boom, boom. But um, no, I'm no, I'm excited for this one, and uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I hope. Well, you think this movie is gonna be able to knock out uh, Captain Marvel this weekend? Look, Captain Marvel's been destroying the box office. Yeah, which is good. I'm happy for it. Oh, I'm uh, so I'm happy, happy that yeah. even with the bullshit that was going on with Ron Tomato and that, yeah. it's it's gone. And the controversy with, the controversy uh, with, with Well, there wasn't really with no, Brie Larson, no. but it was all that the unfortunate butthurt people yeah. uh, that don't like people who have opinions. Mm-hmm. But look, I'm happy for it. I don't... Th- it's a possibility. There's a chance. If any movie does that's not Endgame, is this movie. Well, yeah, but the thing is you got this one and then you got like Shazam coming up in April. Oh, Shazam's got no chance. I don't know. I still want to see it. Yeah, but it won't. I think, I think it will. Anyways, I think, uh, I think it has a chance. I think Us has a shot. Us has the greatest shot of mm-hmm. dethroning uh, Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. It's the greatest shot. Mm-hmm. But nothing has a chance of dethroning uh, Endgame. Not happening. No. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the slate of movies that are coming out after Endgame, but I can tell you right, right now, now if Endgame. I was a movie producer, if I was a production house, yeah. for at least a month, I'm not putting out any movie that I want to make money off of. Mm-hmm. Because it's 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 going to be crushed. Crushed mm-hmm. by Marvel. Marvel Disney and Marvel own the next month when Endgame comes out. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Endgame, boom. <gasps> Look at that. We're in oh, space. N- wow, nice. I'm here. I'm going to float. Ooh. I'm float. Okay, enough floating. Enough silliness. <laughs> now we have to get I down to business. I'm so tired. All right. So the latest trailer for Endgame came out. Yes. Thoughts? First opinions? Holy freaking moly. I like the I like the tribute in the beginning with uh, Tony and uh, Cap. Yeah, I love, you know? I love that. Like, you got the original three. 
Like the iconic three. So the yeah. iconic three. You got yeah. Thor, you got Captain America, and you got Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Got the voiceover. But do you know why they did the voiceover? The rumors is that the Russos only gave them 20 minutes of edit, uh, a video that they can use in the trailers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's all from the first... Uh, like, they must have gave them 20 minutes or something, and it's it's in the first act, okay. I think, all the uh, all the uh, video that they gave them. Mm-hmm. So... Whatever, this is smart. Yeah, but because that they only have 20 minutes to work with, they have to start using stuff from the past. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, look, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying this that, is what's, this, this is the was, rumor that's going and around. This is, and this, and whatever, if that's the case, maybe I think it's beautifully done. Oh, yeah, no, no. This, this trailer, I love all the red in the black and white because mm-hmm. I think okay. it's a possibility. Okay, what's your theory? My theory is that they get the reality stone. Okay. Everybody's going for the time stone because they're going to jump through time. But I think they're going to go through realities. Okay. And that's how the X-Men come into the movie. That's what I'm saying. Uh, look. It's not happening. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, the X-Men, by the time this episode drops, uh, Marvel will have officially have control because today we're, yeah. yeah As I of know. Wednesday at midnight, mm-hmm. Marvel na- officially owns Fox. 20th Century is Fox and some of its sub- mm-hmm. subsidiaries and that. Mm-hmm. Um, so finally, the X-Men have come home. Mm-hmm. Next is uh, Spider Man, which no, he Spider- kind of is half home. He's yeah, living in a halfway he, house still, right now. Yeah, he's still technically owned with uh, Sony. Yeah, but I think it's with uh, with X Men. But don't forget the Fantastic Four. The Fantastic Four, That's yes. A big one. Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer, Galactus. Galactus. Like anything property with uh, with Fantastic Four. But uh, eventually, one way or the other, we will get a Fantastic Four movie. That's going to be uh, good. It's going to be good. Yeah, uh, and hopefully they do justice with Doctor Doom as well. Um. So, uh, look, uh, like uh, you, uh, the rumor and about X Men being in End Games, it's a little too. It's not happening. Look, if it happens, like, cause my I have my brother is saying that. It okay, might theory happen. time. Theory time. Hit like, me with your theory. No, 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 it's not a theory. But I'm just saying, if I would like for if they're gonna do it for shock value, then that's gonna be amazing. Uh, because I, I personally don't think it's going to happen, but if they're willing to just pull the trigger... Ladies and gentlemen, like, if you're listening to this, Al is looking intently into the camera. Yeah, I just... Because and I his hands are going, I, and he's like... Just, I just want to just because... I don't want to put my hopes up in a sense like, oh my God, the X-Men's going to be there. And no, they're not. Not they're not. But if by chance, if I do the opposite, well, I don't have any expectations, but for some reason, boom, at least whatever, a character or whoever, or even Wolverine feature in Endgame, I would be like mind blown. You know what I mean? I don't think it's happening. I don't think it's happening either, but if that's the, the case, maybe to shock me as like, I, I'm already stoked with end games about how this is going to transpire and everything. And if they really want to pull like the guns into this movie and put in like, oh, even Fantastic Four, they put like Fantastic Four in or whatever, somehow or reference them, I would be like in tears because it's like, oh my cow, they did it. So I know it's not gonna happen, but I'm just so and, and I believe you're just you're, hoping. I, I'm I'm hoping a little a little sense, but I'm not like I'm not like losing sleep over it either. True, you know what I mean. But if that little glimmer of hope that just wows me and be like like just in the ultimate way possible to feature X Men or whatever or Fantastic Four or like or even in the end like my theory to see like Galactus in his true form, not like a big cloud like in the second Fantastic Four movie. Shh, we don't talk of that one. Okay. If I could just Oh sorry, no, we are allowed to talk about that. We we don't talk about the fan four stick. You know what? Let me talk about Fantastic Four. Just no, no, we're on it. <laughs> if you if you can't read, we are talking about Avengers Endgame. That's it. That's all, I my friend. The first half was interesting. Anyways, uh, Endgames, uh, like like Mar- like Marvel, take my money. Like I'm <laughs> I'm planning to go get tickets as soon as possible for the Sunday because I my best me and my best friend Chris uh, wants we we usually go together to see whatever. But I'm also planning to get tickets for the Tuesday as well. That's how much I want to see this movie. Oh yeah, I'm twice. definitely seeing this week. movie twice. You know, this is a I, this is like a this is a four time because I saw um, Infinity Wars uh, three times in theaters, and this Those time tries. yeah, and this time I want to see Endgame four times. I've seen Endgame twice in the theater mm-hmm. and about f- well, Infinity Wars. Infinity Wars, sorry, twice in the theater and I think 
f- three to four times on Netflix. I've seen, I was like, every, as soon as I got access to get it. Online, oh yeah, Netflix. I was, I was watching it. it. Oh man, not even like I downloaded. Uh, we I don't talk it. about those things no, on the I podcast. Bought it, I bought it online, okay. so in your face. Okay. Uh, because I wanted to see it so bad. <laughs> So I got it, and I was just like constantly watching it, just stopping and like trying to find little Easter eggs and stuff like that. So it's gonna be the same thing, but that's why I, I, and I can't wait. I can't wait either. It's gonna be great. Yeah, because I just want to know. I want to know what's what happens. Happen, yeah. What happens? What's gonna happen? What's so gonna let's happen. talk about the latest trailer. Okay. There's a lot to do. A lot of things happen. Mm-hmm. We see uh, a whole bunch of suits, mm-hmm. new suits. Mm-hmm. Looks like space suits. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a fight scene uh, with Ant Man being small, jumping through, th- jumping on a pencil, and there's fire coming at him. Mm-hmm. There's also the scene of uh, Hawkeye uh, in tunnels with a light on his wrist. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. Ronan. Ronan playing as Ronan with his hair. I, 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 people are hating on the hair. I kind of am digging it. People can just stop it. It's, it's, I'm digging it's the a, hair. It's a badass hair could do. You know, I'm, I'm digging I the had, hair. I wish I had a mullet. I mean, not a mullet. Uh, like a, what do you call it? A um, mohawk. Mohawk, yeah. I, I rocked one once. Jealous. Not, not to the extreme that he had it. Because no, no, he no. has flowing, glowing locks. I, I, I do love, not. I love it. Um, we see that it looks like Tony gets on Earth a lot sooner. Well, because it's supposed to be in the first act. All the movie, all the video, uh, all the evidence we've seen is from the first act. Yeah. So I think we we all knew that Tony was going to get back to Earth. Oh, yeah. But we didn't know when. Yeah. Which is fine because you see him. You see him on Earth with the suit, right? Yeah. So, you know that there's a lot of there's not much imagery of Bruce Banner or the Hulk. Well, you see Bruce, but you don't see anything of the Hulk. No. And there's not that much of Bruce in the trailer. No. In none of the trailers. So this leads me to believe that there is a portion of time where it's going to be the Hulk as Bruce Banner. Yeah, I think. and that's Like the they have the, uh, yeah, yeah, intel- yeah. the Grey and Hulk or something the, like that. That's the rumor mill. And you know what? I think that's, that will happen. Yeah. Uh, I think. I'm not going to call it as a guarantee, but I think. There's a high likelihood. High likelihood. You know? um, what else? Well, we we are, for the first scenes that we know they're gonna they're gonna somehow at least travel through time. Well, we don't uh, know. But the thing, but the there's stuff, no proof of that. There's no evidence well, no, in the, the trailer. The proof is basically when they shot the they reshot certain scenes from the uh, fight in New York. They could have been doing that to throw people off. The Look, Disney. I would not have put it past Disney okay. to make this happen. Okay, I think I think. They, look, look, it probably is, mm-hmm. but at the same time. Would you not put it past Disney to throw red frigging herrings into a, their biggest movie? This is the biggest movie event since Titanic. Uh, did you see Titanic in the in the yes. when you were young? Yes, I did. Really? My parents brought me. Oh, interesting. And funny fact, my grade six graduation, the theme was Titanic. And let me just tell you, shit sunk. You know, I'll admit this, and I I don't want to jump off topic too much, but my I remember my my elementary uh, dance or whatever uh, for sixth grade. Uh, I remember slow dancing to uh, somebody to uh, my heart will go on. Yeah, and it was romantic. Did you get a little boner? Uh, for sure. Of course. Okay. Moving on from little boners. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not editing why. that out. Oh God! I was a kid. What do you want? Just discovering my. Okay, we're gonna move on. <laughs> okay, what's next? Uh, no, we're gonna we're sticking with the end game. Okay. Um, um, the end of the trailer. Are we? Can we you want to talk about that, or do you want to talk about something else in the no, trailer? No, no, no. Uh, do you have anything? Else? Wait, I'm sorry. I'm taking control of this conversation. <laughs> it's your show. I know it's my show. It's our show. Okay. But it is called the Feel Better Show for a reason. Uh, no, no, I do. I actually did want to allude about the ending. Uh, the kind of post credit. Scene at the end of the trailer. Well, yeah, because it's cool to actually because we know that Captain Marvel is in it. And yeah, it's cool to actually see her and to interact with Thor. Oh my god, her. that scene! Because you kind of see like those two are pretty much the the most powerful people on the team. You have a yeah. god, yeah, and you have someone who's been somewhat created, yeah, from the, an Infinity Stone, yeah. So what we're talking about, if you haven't seen the trailer, uh, probably be linked in the description down below. Which I know everybody has watched the trailer for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's like at 200. Hold on. Give me a second. 
We're gonna get this. We're gonna get straight up in. Uh, What's the, the, what is ass. Thor's? Uh, what was Stormbreaker? Thor's Stormbreaker. That, that is uh, that was on the trailer, right? Yep. Okay, good. Um, There's rumors that Mjolnir might make an appearance um, or return. It is sitting at so. seventy-one million views. Okay. In five days, yeah. that's and that's the know, official trailer, and a lot of that's the has, official trailer of Marvel. A lot of it for me is just repeating it over and over. So. Look, I'm looking at here, another another person version of it is sitting at 3.7 million. Uh, then you have the Deadpool invades Avengers has 4.4 million. Mm-hmm. Um, so what movie clips has them at 14 million? Mm-hmm. Uh, the TV spot has 19. Literally, the trailer. This is one of the biggest trailers. Seventy-one million people have seen this movie. And it's not showing much. No, it's some things. There are some new shots in it, Mm. but it's still all new. That scene there with Cap, though, where he he grabbed his shield. Shield, and you see him grinning with like. Well, not grinning, grimacing. Grimacing, but it just honestly, that's that's iconic. Oh yeah, no, no, this is huge. I don't know how in terms of entails what that scene is, but if that's how. Well, so here's a rumor. Spoiler, I'm going to do spoiler. I'm not sure how much of a spoiler. Apparently, um, Thanos attacks the Avengers. Okay. Early on in the movie. Okay. So, some people are saying, some rumors are saying, that the Avengers have to go after uh, 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 Thanos through time. So, that's the reason why there's time jumps. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much I believe of that. Because it's get then you're getting dirty, mm-hmm. playing with timelines and that, and I don't know if they want to play with the timelines. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the theories. Uh, but that's what I think is going on because uh, in one of the trailers you see Ant Man and War Machine flip on their helmets, mm-hmm. looking like they're getting ready to battle, mm-hmm. and then you have the scene in this one where Ant Man is jumping through office supplies and there's an explosion happening. I think those happen very s- close together. Those two scenes, I think they get attacked by someone. Mm-hmm. Whether it's uh, Thanos or someone else, who knows? Okay. But I think there's a battle at the new uh, the new HQ. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be interesting. Um, and th- so the scene we're talking about at the end, unless you have something to add, I'm sorry, Al. No, 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 no. But go ahead. Let's talk about the... Uh, so the, the scene at the Marvel. end of the trailer, you have Thor... Looking at Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. who doesn't look as disheveled as she does when she shows up at the end of Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. uh, the post credit scene for Captain Marvel. Again, spoiler alert, you have Cap, Rhodes, Black Widow, and I think Banner. Uh, you see a clip of Banner. You see a clip of Banner? Mm-hmm. And they go, or Banner's like, hey... No, Rhodes is like, hey, that thing, it, it stopped flashing, it stopped flashing. Mm-hmm. Then f- they're talking, obviously, about the pager. It flips, and you have only three of them. You have Banner, uh, uh, Natasha, Black Widow, and Captain, Mar- Mar- uh, Captain Marvel, Captain America going, uh, try and reset it, mm-hmm. whatever. And then Black Widow says something and turns around, and right in front of her is Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. who looks very disheveled. Mm-hmm. Now, flip to this trailer. At the end of this trailer, she looks poised and ready. Mm-hmm. She's a lot. She looks very. She looks cleaned up. She looks casual. She looks casual, and so Thor's looking at her. She's looking at Thor. They're just eyeing each other up, and then Thor just calls Stormbreaker over, slams into his hand, goes flies right by. You see her hair flip up, and then she doesn't even blink. Doesn't even like no change of expression. Like I've seen this game before. You don't impress me. You don't impress me much. Um. And Thor just looks at her and goes, I like this one. Is that Shania Twain, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure. You don't impress me much. Something uh. about Brad Pitt or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Thor goes, I like this one. And then it just ends. And you're like, oh, oh, oh. Like, it's like, oh, my God, this is freaking amazing. I know that right there, they will have the best buddy aspect next to Thor and Rocket. Rocket Raccoon. Yeah. I'm calling it right now. The buddy part of that movie is Thor and Captain Marvel. That's going to be a 
the best buddy movie part of the movie. Like a like a like a team up. Like yeah, they're gonna team up. It's gonna be like you know how uh, some of the best parts of Infinity War was when Rocket was with uh, Thor, mm-hmm. and they're like kind of having this buddy off going off in that. Mm-hmm. I think this is it's going to be Captain Marvel and Thor, two fish out of water type situations. Um, I I because I was just reading up a bit. Uh, the, the like um, of course other random theories. Uh, you think uh, Valkyrie will make an appearance? Maybe, she, maybe because Tessa Thompson didn't confirm, but she didn't deny. I think she's kind of playing with us. Well, I uh, think the Russos confirmed that she is alive. Yeah, she did. They, well, they yeah, confirmed that saw, she she survived. She survived with the, uh, the with, with with certain the, uh, with certain certain um, as guardians. Uh, as guardians as well. But I think Korg survived too. If, if here's I the thing. The here's the thing. I don't think they asked if they survived the snap. Mm-hmm. I think they asked if they survived Thanos attacking the ship, mm-hmm. and they said yes, they survived this Thanos attacking the ship. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know if anybody's asked if they survived the snap. I can't, they may have, and I may be completely wrong here, mm-hmm. but I don't know if they survive, if anybody's asked that. Now, if they did and I'm completely wrong, okay, I'm completely wrong, mm-hmm. but from what I think, 100%, uh, she's going to be in the movie. I think she'll be, if, if, if worst case is a cameo. Cameo so, at the biggest. Yeah, but the thing is, is I, it'd be cool to see Valkyrie. I, oh, yeah, no. She was, the, she was one of the best parts in Thor Ragnarok. Oh, so, she was. She was a great part. Um, and it'd be nice to see, because, again, there was a rumor mill that there could be another Thor movie in the, in the world. Yep. Because cause Chris Hemsworth didn't, d- didn't yeah, it's confirm called, it, but he didn't deny it. It's called MIB uh, 4. That's fun. That's another topic for another time. <laughs> uh, um, Mixed reviews on that one. Uh, Anyways, let's see what, what what time we're at. We are at fifty one. Okay, we're good. We're yeah, doing good for. Today. I don't, um. I just I I don't know what more to say about Endgame. Like I'm excited. Yeah, I, I just like, want it here. I want it here. I want it now. I want to consume that piece of media. Yeah. So bad. Oh my god. Wow. Just cool your jets. Maybe you should put. You maybe you should put like a bucket of ice in your. You know. Shorts. Dog. Yeah. So you could just cool down. Jeez. So I can talk like this for the rest of the day. Whatever floats your boat. Hello. Yeah. All right, Al. I don't have a new screen for this. This was a suggestion. Okay. What's up? Uh, from uh, the lovely Liana. Mm-hmm. If you don't know who Liana is, uh, she schooled me on. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Thro- throg in the throat or yeah. throat in the throg. Mm-hmm. I can't even speak anymore. Uh, she schooled me on uh, the episode of the Feel Better show that we talked about Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. She's the one who shut me up. She's my lovely girlfriend. She made a suggestion here, Al. Mm-hmm. We still, I'm still tweaking on the name and I let our fans let's, throw in. Uh, but let's, let's do a test run on this. I know what you're going with. Boom. Uh, we need soundboards. Uh, I have to We're work working on, on it. We're yeah. working on it. Just so much to work on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a... I'm going to throw to Al <laughs> two things. And it's regarding the Thanos snap. Okay. Okay? You you had the power to do a decimation. But it's on one specific item of media. Okay. Okay. You either can get rid of the Iron Man trilogy... Or the Captain America trilogy. Now, okay. if you get rid of one of those trilogies, every piece that's associated with that disappears from media. So it's never happened. Well, here's a problem because it's, let's say let's say I choose Iron Man, right? Yep. That means that the existence of Civil War would never happen. Not necessarily. Like it would happen, but he wouldn't have Iron Man in it. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I have to go with Iron Man. Why? Like. Why? Give me your why. I like okay in terms of um, which which quality of quality you mean? Well, quality whatever. <laughs> like in terms of which one's my favorite uh, trilogy is Cap because I love all three of them. Iron Man, I love the first one. I, even though I know he, this is that was the like the 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 movie that set 
the the wheels in motion for the MCU. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, Iron Man two uh, and the Iron Man three I did not like. No. So I have to go with Cap. I like the first one was good. You know, very. It just Indiana. got better and better. It just got better and better. But the first one was really good because it had that Indiana Jones kind of feel to it. Okay, yeah. Second one was just iconic. Oh yeah, it was amazing. And then the third one, even though I know Cap won't be in it, I guess somebody killed. Uh, I don't know, not Cap. I know Iron Man won't be in it since I'm, I'm snapping on uh, on Iron Man, so he'll fight, Captain America will fight somebody else. So um, for the most part, I have to go Cap and an Iron Man. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Robert Downey Jr. You're killing Robin Downey Jr. How could you? And he won't be in Spider Man. I'm like, oh my god. So you just d destroyed Spider Man. No, but he'll still be. No, in it. no. Because no, if you're erasing, if you're erasing Iron Man, he's not in Homecoming. Yeah, but the thing is, Spider Man was in Avengers Civil in Civil War. Yeah, he was fine. It's okay. It's an Avengers Civil War. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he was not Avengers, uh, Captain America Civil War. Yeah, okay, Captain America Civil yeah. War, aka Avengers 2.5. <laughs> sure. Um, Would it be 3.5? No, because the third one is Endgame. Uh, is uh, Infinity War, so it would be 2.5 because it's in between them. I'm a banker. I'm allowed to do this. Okay. I need to actually mute that. I can't say that. <laughs> just do the edit. Just oh yeah, it's going to be fully edited. It's just. Just do beep. like a beep. Yeah, it's beep. gonna be a beep. People are gonna be like, "Why is there a beep?" You gotta do that for the audio too. For uh, yeah, the for video talking. and the audio. Good luck on that one. Oh, uh, it's not hard. The audio. I'm not worried about the audio. <laughs> it's the video that I have to work on. <laughs> beep. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, it's no, gonna but be. Spider-Man will still exist. Sp maybe. Mm -hmm. Because the Spider-Man movie just, was he heavy. Be, he won't be uh, mentored by uh, Tony Stark. Tony Stark. He'll be mentored by. Uh, uh, I don't know the Thor. Really, Thor? <laughs> I don't know, I can't think You're going with Thor. Nick Fury. Oh okay. God, that's what we need. Yeah, that's or what we need. Spider Man, <laughs> Spider Man, mentored by a spy. Yeah. That has so many secrets. That his secrets have secrets. That his secrets have secrets on well, secrets who's on like secrets. Like a gullible. Besides Spider Man, who's like a really like you know gullible type of like MCU character? Ant Man. Yeah. Ah, he be, he's a thief. Uh, <laughs> Why are we looking for gullible? Uh, Tony Stark's not gullible. No, but he he has he's like the father figure. But the only thing I can think of is Cap. But the thing is, he's already in the movie technically. Yeah. You know, and he you know he's running. He's like well, he's, Civil War would be completely different. Yeah. So he like it'd be Cap versus who? Thor. <laughs> you really want Thor in <laughs> Civil War, don't you? <laughs> You're a little upset, right? Well, I'm happy he had his own movie. True. You know. Look, um, all right, it's fine. I disagree with you, but at the same time, I agree with you. Okay, so you okay? If I I can't make a decision on that. Okay, I'm not. Don't make me, please, no, God, gonna, no, so don't make next, me. Next episode, it'll be my turn to ask you. All right, so. you can do a, any piece of media, any piece of media, <laughs> any piece of media. Sorry. That was horrible. <laughs> oh my god! And on that note, that horrible, horrible note, I'm gonna throw it to Al. Uh, Boom, Al! Hit it! Hit me with your vibes. Yeah. So this is a mixtape I came out uh, two, three weeks ago. Uh, this is my latest one, mixtape seven. It's the vibes, y'all. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cool features. Uh, well, there's some me scratching and. Uh, for all you Post Malone fans, uh, he's featured in this one. There's a Drake track. There's also some cool, like, old school, like, um, you know, Cypress Hill, you know, some LL Cool J. Take a listen. Yeah, you can find that, of course, on his website, www.djoverflowmtl.com. Uh, with this mixtape, too, you can also go to on my Mixcloud website, which is www.mixcloud.com slash djoverflow underscore mtl. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it's going to be linked in the show notes and in the YouTube description. To head on over there, click on those links, f listen to it. It is a great mixtape. I am I am working on a new one, so ho hopefully that will be up uh, and running uh, soonish. So. Yeah, I have to say I've been listening to this at work, and it's very. Much. I also on the, on the mix class, on the mix club too. I have other uh, mix. Yeah, because this is mixtape number seven. Yeah. So obviously you have one two seven on there. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for number eight to drop, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. It's going to be 
off the hook. Well, well, okay. Sending some major praise. Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, so that's the end of the show. I want to thank you so much for listening. Uh, I know Al and uh, both Al and I appreciate every single one of you guys listening here. Very much so. Um, either sharing us on your your the sharing the posts, liking the posts that we put out there, um, telling a friend about the show, telling them uh, how great it is, how silly it is. I I do want to give a shout out to my boy Pony Plays. Every time he's a huge Twitch streamer, uh, make sure you follow him. I next I need to put up a thing for him. Now that we're going visual here, he is a Twitch streamer. He is amazing. Every time I go into his chat, he shouts me out and tells his followers to uh, give us a li- give us a listen. So make sure you go on to twitch.com slash ponyplays. That's P-W-N-Y-P-L-A-Y. Uh, of course, it's going to be in the uh, notes down below. You can click and follow him. He's very comical. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but he's a great, great friend of the show. So we're going to try and get him on the show as well. Um uh, you can find everything for Al on movies on social media. It's mm-hmm. pretty much Al on movies. Al on movies. Uh, my, MTL. This is my Twitter, MTL. Uh, I, my Instagram is DJ Overflow underscore MTL. Uh, that's my Twitter as well, too. I have two Twitter accounts, so take a listen. But everything you need to know about me is uh, on my website, DJ Overflow uh, MTL.com. Yeah, and if you want to listen to uh, if you want to see my Instagram, if you want to see the Twitter, mm-hmm. the Facebook page for the show, it is Feel Better Show. Feel Better Show. Feel Better Show. Uh, that's on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, make sure you like our Facebook page. Make sure you share the posts, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Leave a five star review in iTunes. Yeah, write, um, write us a comment on the Feel Better Show on any on social media. Like, yeah, we want to hear your input. Please let us know what you think of Endgame, Us, Aladdin, uh, James Gunn being hired. Are you for it? Are you against it? Anything really. Let us know in either the comments. Um, email us at philbettershow at gmail.com. Uh, I am Phil Better. And I am Al. And we <laughs> wish you a very good night. Any night. You're listening to a Pave Media show. Visit pavemedia.net for more podcasts and video entertainment.